Hey, what's up, Sam? How are you doing? Here I am again. As you can see, I'm enjoying recording my new death tape and testing Tascam DA30 MK2. One perfectly functional and good looking that recorder look at that unit it's almost like mint condition display bright crisp clean as the sound is and yes i'm recording some jazz um i want to test this unit a couple of more times before i sell it um, it's in perfectly good cosmetic and also like a working condition. It's working just as it should and it's serviced and it needs to be um, sold to someone who will properly use it. Who would that be? As we can see, it has a rack mount, so it's gonna probably be some small studio some person who likes to uh, use that tapes i think personally the most of the people who would buy unit like this in 2022 would be someone who has a lot of master that tapes who would like to transfer to computer or whatever listen to but uh, what is important we have some kind of compatibility issue with those that machine so if you recorded something on Panasonic uh, it doesn't it could be not playable on Sony or Tascam or stuff like that but this unit will play all the tapes recorded on Sony, Panasonic, Tascam, just drop it, it will play it. <laughs> and it looks like new. So, as I said, uh, the, the unit like this would find them probably place in the, some small home studio or maybe some large good equipped studio who would like to have some uh, let's say vintage recording equipment uh, because this would go under the vintage right now yeah you could record on your computer whatever you want and there are plenty of audio devices such as the focus right whatever that you can connect to your computer and then use it and record whatever you want uh, in a digital format but this uh, uses cassette tapes <laughs> digital cassette tapes and they are uh, right much smaller than the uh, regular cassette tapes and yeah uh, the unit and everything is professional and you can do a lot of it uh, it's not like you just want to play tapes sometimes you want to do more with it this unit is equipped with a data shuttle wheel that you can use when you are playing your tapes you can easily fast forward or rewind and find a, a spot on the tape in the track that uh, you want to start to play from that spot on and then you can do you know like a uh, it is a professional device uh, there are plenty of connectors behind you can use analog digital inputs you can uh, there is a digital and analog outputs uh, there are plenty of things that you can adjust on this device uh, you use balanced or unbalanced connectors and, and, and you see 
you want to record standard or long mode and we have to address this right now if you buy a regular sony the sony consumer that yes you will be able to do all of the stuff but let's say you want to uh, record a cd which is 44.1 let's let's say you want to record it on 48 kilohertz you can do it with sony because uh, there is a copyright protection installed on those machines but with those machines you could do whatever you want you know so um, that's why the professional is still professional you know there is some kind of at that time uh, comfort um, because the f the CD is 44.1 you can record it 48 uh, some would say yeah that's better it is better you can probably you will not hear it but it's better and they can you know and they can advertise professional units with that only but it's much more it's a whole metal unit inside metal parts uh, much bigger board uh, oh, it's all like a made to be serviced used for a long time and stuff like that and uh, what I want to say like uh, in this video how can you what, what would be the first sign that unit didn't was not was not in, in, in use for a long time that would be probably the display if the display is dimmed uh, not so sharp and you know that 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 probably means that the unit was operational for a long time still even if the display is dim the unit could work because maybe the display was the, the unit was turned on for uh, 16 hours per day which would be you know like uh, enough for display to get them uh, and some people would use it like they would power it on and off when they need it so but again if it's like it looks like new and the display is sharp that's probably the unit that didn't work a lot like this one so if someone would ask me if this unit came out of the from the box what would be the difference with this one i would say like there is a small spot here small spot here and here and that would be it otherwise it looks like it came from the box <laughs> man this unit is very old and probably older than some of you viewers and it's still working and recording and it's the sound is great <laughs> I don't know if my phone can record those low and high frequencies, but it's really, the sound is really good. Right now I'm recording one CD. I wanna um, record one tape, even if I recorded two tapes before, but this is gonna be my third one. Uh, so I'm gonna try that tape on other, that devices I know it's gonna work perfectly fine but I'm gonna try it one more time Be because when I sell this unit to someone I want that person to have a total confidence in it like I'm, I got a best working DA30 MK2 <laughs> in the States or whatever I want I want that person to have the unit that can open close play rewind do whatever he wants like it's new and this device i think it is i don't think i'm gonna ha ever have um, that in such a good condition like this one but that's why i probably wanted to make this video right so some of you viewers can see how it looks 
when it works, when it's recording, uh, and uh, in all <laughs> all the beauty of the unit is in one video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who cares? I just want to make a video with it. <laughs> Take care.